back. We're off to the York Hall in Bethnal Green for our first big fight of the new Central Sports special season. Colin McMillan, with 18 wins in 19 fights, defends his British featherweight title against Kevin Pritchard, the former British super featherweight champion. We join it in the fifth round. McMillan's well ahead on points at ringside are Reg Gutteridge and Barry McGuigan. Fifth round. Just to update you, Colin McMillan and Kevin Pritchard. Londoner and Liverpudlian. I don't think he'll win too much of that roughing up close in game, uh, McMillan. That's not too smart of him, Barry. No, he's not. Uh, he's not a very strong physique, and he shouldn't be, obviously, fighting in close with uh, Pritchard because that's when Pritchard can tag him. Well, keep it at arm's length. What I'm surprised at, Reg, is that that. Um, Pritchard is actually on the retreat here, and, and McMillan's being the aggressor. He would have thought for the early rounds at least it would have been the other way around. But uh, Pritchard just, or McMillan just peppering Pritchard and picking him apart at the moment. All light punches, he hasn't started to dig his heels in and throw any weight in those shots. So now we're getting comparative quietness now with the audience. Just wait until McMillan opens up with a few punches and you'll hear the difference then. Could be McMillan is understandably showing this fellow a bit of respect. He's former champion of a four pounds heavier weight and a good old season prover, my favorite oft-used line about have gum shield will travel uh, well he's certainly one of those Pritchard Pritchard is making himself a very a very difficult target to hit he's uh, tucking his elbows in tight and not presenting McMillan anything anything big to punch at he's going to lull McMillan into a false sense of security here Lying on the ropes and hoping to tag him as he comes forward. Now we're talking about the skill and uh, the brain boxing actually of McMillan. But give, oh, beautiful body shot. Good of a body shot. I was, was going to say he's, he's a bit crafty as well, Pritchard. He's trying to tuck his arms into his side, but he got caught there, okay? This is the, where the weight making efforts will have uh, and start to drain him. He hit him right on the button and. Obviously, he's had trouble making this way. Oh, and again there, left hook close in. He's right on the borderline. He's really hurt him down below. He's cutting the two with those body shots, right? See, now he knows how to open up when he thinks he's got the guy in trouble like that, or at least when he knows he's got him in a bit of trouble. Oh, that oh, punch to the rip. Now, the referee's got to carry on counting, although the bell's gone, and he's telling the seconds not to get in the ring, but he'll get up all right. And back to the corner. I, you couldn't hear that, but I would have thought about six seconds. But that's within the rules, of course. The only time the bell can stop a count is if it happens in the last round. The first body shot actually done the damage here, Reg. It was a right uppercut, and then it followed it right away with a, another perfect right uppercut. And uh, really just, Pritchard just crumbled after it. Perfect shot. Breathtaking, I think it is. It knocks all the all the breath out of you when you take a punch uh, under the ribs like that. I've seen it so often with boxers, and especially as Barry says, if they're a little bit. Now this one is right at the end of the round. This uh, replay we've got right here. Right to the body here. That's just a wee short right hand. Big go. Right, on, right on the short rib. Seconds out. Round well, six. round six, and Pritchard's off his stool a bit quickly there. He won't be able to psych McMillan out of it by doing those things, but uh, he wants to show that he still doesn't lack confidence. McMillan has found his soft spot, and uh, he's going to go for the body now, that's for sure. Pritchard dropping his hands, again that right uppercut in the middle. Very difficult punch to land that Reg as the opponent comes forward. Especially when he got his elbows tucked Absolutely. in like that. Oh, another one. Oh, again. I thought that was Ian Botham going over the wicket there. Now we don't have 
the well-known three knockdown rule in any one round here that happens often in world boxing. The referee can stop it whenever he wants to, or he may not. He's not in that much trouble, actually, Pritchard. He's sensible enough to take the, the full rest. McMillan switching to the head there, which is very good. Minute gone in the sixth round, and uh, Colin McMillan now really on top of this Liverpool challenger. Watching that body like a hawk, just covering himself up. Yeah, he's, there's not the slightest doubt about it. That getting down, as I say, down to inside nine stone when he began his career at somewhere near ten stone, actually. Pritchard now is probably feeling that. I'm certainly feeling the, the power of the punch, it's the ability to take it, isn't it, Barry? Well, I'm feeling it, Reg, and obviously he must be feeling it really hard. And, I didn't and, see you go on your knees. <laughs> you can't see me, I want my seat here. I'll tell you that, they were beautiful shots, they were right in the, in the middle of the solar plexus. When he whips that right hand uppercut in uh, McMillan, when he's on target, it's a really good punch, but he's got to watch that it doesn't go low, and uh, can you imagine the throwing a contest away with a disqualification? He's got to also remember not to get complacent. This is when Pritchard is his most dangerous. What McMillan should be doing is pop on lots of head punches, bring his hands up to protect his head and then whip in one or two good solid body shots. Yeah, he's there doing he's it there. I think he's heard you there, Barry. So we're inside the half minute of the sixth. And understandably, Pritchard breathing Heavier, isn't he, as the fight goes on, as you would expect. But when you're winning a fight, Barry, you don't seem to be breathing so hard. That's right. He's uh, McMillan's loading up a wee bit. He's a bit guilty of loading too much. He should be throwing faster punches to the head. Bring the Richard's hands up and then break that body up. Oh, beautiful right hand, right on the bell again. Well, the way he's boxing is going to carry on being unmarked, isn't he, for quite a long time. One time British telecom engineer. Now then, here's the knockdown in that round. See, right through the middle of the guard and, and travelling up, that must have knocked all the wind out of the sails. And uh, as I've said, a copycat both and job there going over the wicket. Well, what do they tell a fighter in that, you know, state there in the gym? Well, and, as I said, unusual to have that kind of name in the opposite corner, <laughs> isn't it? Except, well, you've been around long enough, you've got to give it every shot because championships mean so much. Seventh round. And well, his advice would be uh, just to tuck up and hope to be lucky. referee keeping well away from this you know it's not that hard a contest to handle and uh, John Curl is one of the best around at the moment in the world that is he's doing some world championship fights as well you've got to hand it to Pritchard haven't you Barry Keep, you know he's trying to take the fight here he knows he's getting beaten and, uh, yeah well he, he knows he's in trouble here he's, he's really Showing a lot of grit. He's in big diffs and he's taken a lot of shots there around the body and it really hurt him. He's obviously had to struggle to make this weight and he's coming back here. He's putting pressure on McMillan. This is the way he should have been fighting from the beginning. He had to satisfy the boxing border control at one point that he could actually get inside uh, Nine Stone before they, they said they'd grant him a chance as the challenger. Barry wasn't really as hard a punch as early on, but now he's not been able to take them. He's hit so him much. right in the pit of the stomach. Yeah. He's taken all the wind out of his sails. And he's shown a championship hard again. He's got up. It is not that you see body punching entirely 
trying to win a fight. That's right, you don't often see very much of him winning a fight as well. You know, not, not the whole time that he's been doing. He has hardly done any real head hunting. Oh, and That's again. That's I think, I think uh, John Cole is now going to say to him, well, this might be enough. He might give him one more chance. He's saying, hold your hands up. No, that's it. I suspected, knowing Cole's refereeing, that that was what he would do, that he'd have a look at him while he was counting, and he could see that this fellow was in a lot of trouble. He'd given all he could give, and obviously was weakened not only by the weight, but by the power of this fellow's body shots and the accuracy of them in the second, seventh round, I should say, of this uh, British featherweight title defence. Colin McMillan. So Colin McMillan retains his British featherweight title. That's 19 out of 20, and it's another step on the way towards him having a crack at a world title.